So, uh, so far this week, you've been on a tear batting 387 and more walks than strikeouts, hitting all these extra base hits. Uh, talk about your adjustment to pro ball and how easy it seems to have been for you so far. Yeah, I just basically just worked on having fun. Uh -huh. um, you know, college coaches uh, can be intense and, you know, they want to win. And here it's just they're more of developing you. And so they kind of let you do your thing on the field. And I think that's what's given me the most uh, pressure relief is, you know, being able to come out here and basically play free and easy. And uh, it showed. It's been the biggest adjustment from college ball to, to pro ball now that you're here every day. I mean, is there a little bit of different vibe when you're not on the campus and you're traveling all the time and, and things like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to go to class in college in the morning and then you have practice or a game in the evening. So um, right now it's just you wake up, you have your morning, um, and then you come and play baseball and that's your job. And that's, that's probably the biggest difference is not having to go to class or not having to work out in the mornings or anything like that, just doing it all at the field. And you know, it's awesome to have baseball as your job. Do you have a sort of chip on your shoulder? Last year, drafted by the Red Sox, 40th overall. You go back to college, have a pretty good season last year, uh, even though the batting average dipped a little bit. But you know, you get drafted 67th overall this time around. Uh, any chip on your shoulder? No, there's, I mean, no, not really. Um, you know, it seems like with how you've been swinging the bat so far. Yeah. <laughs> Especially against Salem. Yeah, Baltimore is, is a place I wanted to be, and, uh, you know, they ended up choosing me, and, you know, it's been great so far. And, yeah, Salem, uh, they're a Red Sox affiliate, so um, there was a little tension there in Salem. But, uh, you know, I, I got some booze, actually, when I was playing left field, uh -huh. so use that just to kind of fuel me for that week and then just had fun with it yeah have you been booed, booed before like, never that, that was the first time i've ever been booed so <laughs> <laughs> because people know who you are that's the, yeah. that's the positive side <laughs> yep so judd um why did you want to play for the baltimore organization so badly yeah uh last year um they wanted me and um i just saw the, the farm system they were growing and with all the prospects and um, you know I wanted to be a part of it. Um, getting to play with all these guys who are really, really good players um, and having the opportunity to meet up with them in Baltimore one, one day and win, win a few World Series. Um, so that's always been the goal and, and when Baltimore came calling, you know, it was a dream come true. Have there been any tweaks as of yet? You've only been a pro for a little bit here, but maybe you've approached the plate, you know, swing path, any, anything that you've, you've adjusted so far? Uh, it's more just the approach, okay. um, you know, not swinging at balls that are, that are close, um, you know, on the edges, because it's hard to throw a strike. Um, no matter how high you go in baseball, it's, it's difficult to throw a strike. So um, if you help the pitcher out, it's going to be a lot easier for him. So basically just making the pitcher's job hard on him is what I've basically focused on throughout this time that I've been in Pro Bowl. We saw this drill behind us here working on that. What was the purpose of that driller? Uh, this is just a uh, warm-up we do every day. Um, go through a progression, um, kind of my routine before we end up hitting BP later. Um, just basically feeling the hands out. Um, there's a few heavy bats to kind of work on bat path with different weighted bats. Um, so, yeah, just kind of going through that, getting ready for BP and, uh, you know, and take BP and then get ready for the game. Were you getting advice as well on swing decisions during that too? Uh, no, I was, I was, I hadn't, I hit a, the up and out fastball yesterday. I fouled out over here and uh, I'm left hand dominant. So my barrel dropped a little bit and I was just asking Brink about it. Um, and he told me and then did, took a few swigs and it felt, felt really good. So. That way to bat thing, is that something you've done in college or at any level, or is this new? No, it's all new. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't do much with any way to bats or way to balls in college, so this is all new to me, and you know I, I love it so far. It's really helped out. You're here with Jackson Holiday. What's he, what's he kind of like? I mean, obviously he's an 18-year-old, but how does he kind of fit in with you guys? Uh, he, fits in, he fits in awesome. Uh, me and him are good friends, and you know for being 1-1, he's a really humble, humble kid. And you know, you never know he went one one. He's he's all about team and other players. He's not about himself and, and I mean he's he's fit in really well here. He says Grub Hub is his favorite, you know, favorite right now. Uh, is that the same with you? No, nah, mine mine I've been door dashing, so okay. yeah. <laughs>
You mentioned the mustache. You're not the only one growing the mustache, right? No. I, Wags had the mustache first in Salem. And then when I got back, I just I shaved my whole beard and just went mustache. And um, after the game one, and I, even last night, we talked the beavers into it. And now he has mustache. So his, his is a little smaller than me and Wags, but you know, he, he's trying. Who is the best one? Uh, it might be me. I got the longest one. So, I mean, I'll take credit for that. <laughs> So Baltimore, 40 and 23 in the last couple of months, second best record in the American League. And obviously the organization has plenty of prospects still to come up. We haven't even seen Grayson yet. Uh, how excited are you for the future of the organization? Oh, I'm very excited. Um, what they're doing up there is, is incredible. And I think it shows to like what we get taught in the whole organization is, you know, apply pressure every single inning, every single pitch and, and make the other team uncomfortable. And I think the the MLB team is doing that extremely well and you know I'm excited for the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah.